here we go, back at it again, Skunk Master Fishing. Uh, made it down to the urban location today. It's supposed to be really hot today. Uh, talking about 100 degrees, so we made it out super early. We're gonna see if we can beat the heat and the crowd. Because even though it's hot, you still have a lot of people out. But either way, we're gonna get down here to the water and see if we can find some snakeheads today. Stick with me, see what we do. Yeah, we had our first strike down here, but I missed it, and then my uh, my reel locked up on me because I had a uh, a knot that looped around the reel, but it is gone again. I keep taking it down. It looks like. I'm not sure what's going on there. My uh, dank frog is taking a dip, it looks like. Let me try that again. Snake it. No, that's a bass. That's a nice bass. There we go. We got a decent little bass here. Ow. Man. I just got stabbed with my own lure there. I'm gonna take a picture of him with the uh gold dingo frog in his mouth. Yes, ma'am. All right, we got our first one today. Took a couple hours, but no skunk. Beat the skunk today. Here you go, fella. It's off. All right, well, I decided to switch over to the chatterbait. I don't know about you guys, but I run a trailer hook on mine. you're throwing your chatterbait and a bunch of junk and you don't want it to get snagged and everything else I, mean, I don't know chatterbait is not that weedless anyway so <clears throat> i've lost a handful of fish running the chatterbait without a stinger hook so ever since that's happened i've uh Switched over to running the uh, stinger hook all the time now. I'm going to keep on moving because that uh, fry ball could have gone too far. I think it went to the left, so.
think that's the fry ball over there. We're gonna walk over there. See if we can um, piss a parent off. Let's see, let's see if we can make it over there real quick. I think that's where they are right there. Let's see. Alrighty. I hope that's what that is. I don't I'm not 100% sure, but it moves from the right all the way down here. So I'm going to throw right past it and see. Oh my god, I missed it. How did I miss that? I had a trailer hook on there. He must have hit the top of it. Oh no, look at that. He got the very back. He took the uh, paddle tail off. Took the paddle tail off. All right, that's fine. We don't need the paddle tail. He's running right back again. Grab the very end of it. So instead of getting that trailer hook, he got the paddle tail. There, look at that. Got him. I got it. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's definitely a snakehead. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, it's a big old bass. It's a big old bass. I thought it was a snakehead for sure. <laughs> it's a big old bass. All right, where's the uh, let's see. <coughs> look at this bass? I thought it was a big old snake here. All right, that's a big old bass. Nice one. All right, we got this pretty decent bass here. Not too bad. Not too bad. I thought I was fishing for a snakehead fry, but this guy came up and nailed it. So, all right. Let's get back there and see if that is a fry ball. Maybe he was caught up in the middle of that fry ball trying to eat them. Ended up eating my uh, chatterbait instead. So I, I still see it. Yeah, I see it right there. So let me get right back at it at that same spot. Man, he hammered this uh, chatterbait. I don't thought for sure it was a snake yet. He proved me wrong. It's so crazy. I thought it was a fly ball. I figured I pulled the uh, one of the parents off the fly ball. <laughs> 